This is a great saltwater fly uh, for bonefish and maybe for permit. It's a cross between the wonderful flies that Jack Gartside tied using a raccoon and the gotcha. Here are the tools and materials you'll need. Looks like I added a few extras, but hopefully you'll forgive me for that. Here's the raccoon gotcha. It's a pattern I've been tying for a long time. I tie it, uh, this one happens to be a size two. I tie it down to a size 10, but the two usually don't have rubber legs, or the 10 don't have rubber legs. I want to leave room for the eye or the head of the fly in front of the bead chain, so I give it extra room. Tie it down with a crisscross and then over and under. And then a little bit more crisscross. Make sure the eye is, uh, or the bead chain is perpendicular to the hook. It's necessary to put a little bit of glue on there so the bead chain doesn't move around. For the tail, I used a little bit of the flat uh, diamond braid. Just run it back to the bend point. Trim it off, separate the fibers. Put a wrap underneath to kind of cock them up a little bit and then go back to the bead chain. With some micro diamond braid. You can use the regular, it's just more bulky. Tie back to the beginning of the flat diamond braid, wrap forward, and then wrap the diamond braid forward. I put a half inch in the, uh, in the thread just to make sure it didn't go anywhere. Turn it over in the vise, I'm ready to go. Trim off the diamond braid. Prepare to put in the wing and the excess raise hole column, crystal flash, and the rubber legs. What I like to do is leave a little channel right in the middle there to cinch down the wing material. This is the raccoon. Take some practice to cut the right amount. And it helps to have good raccoon too. You also want to uh, use a brush or a comb and comb out as much of the short hairs as you can. That way you won't have excessive bulk at the head and a thin, thin body. I 
I tie underneath so I can get at the uh, the wing material, the butts of the wing material. Should have actually tied un underneath a little bit more so it would have been easier to get to. Now it's important to put some uh, to glue put some glue on the wraps so the ones that don't get tied down as tightly don't come out. This is really thin super glue, so it should sink all the way through the wing material. Very thin stuff. I like to use it, but it can be really messy gets everywhere. Now we're ready for the crystal flash. It's just pearlescent crystal flash. It was being a little bit unruly there. and the rubber legs. Sometimes the, the orange uh, section is not the same on both ends, which is a little bit disconcerting, but uh, not, not a lot. First time in on one side. And then time in on the other side. Get them to where they're about even. I normally, after I finish them, uh, coat the heads with epoxy to make them a little bit more durable. But even without, it's a fairly durable fly. And that is your raccoonie gotcha.